Hey everyone, welcome to 5 Minute Fridays where we take 5 minutes to close out our week in the Word of God. Today we're going to finish up the book of Philippians, taking a look at Paul's final greetings in verses 21 and 23 of chapter 4. Greet all God's people in Christ Jesus. The brothers and sisters who are with me send greetings. All God's people here send you greetings, especially those who belong to Caesar's household. And the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. And, and reading these, just, these last few verses, you know, uh, I, I kind of got the sense of uh, this is a Christmas card. You know, Paul's just kind of signing off and saying, hey, you know, this is what's going on in our lives. Uh, this is what we heard about y'all. Um, hope you're all doing well. Everybody sends their love and Merry Christmas. Uh, and that's, it, it seems pretty generic. You know, it's just a little sign off here and, and Paul gives a blessing at the end. And, and part of me wondered, why didn't we just use this last week? Like, I know I read it because I, I, I intentionally chose. No, I want to cut off here. And, and for a moment, I couldn't remember why. But it's because, as I was rereading it, uh, it's because there's just, there's two final little nuggets that Paul gives to us as he's finishing out his book that's, that's helping us to focus ourselves on, on finding joy in all circumstances. And the first is, is in those, actually, first two verses where we get all these greetings, all these people who are like, hey, you know, they're, they're sending their love. Paul is helping us remember that as Christians, as followers, as people who are walking in this world of darkness, waiting for the day that Jesus comes to, to take us to heaven, we're not in this alone. We've got people who have our back. We've got people who've been there since the very beginning. We've got people who have just joined us in the last few weeks. Right? That's what that little, that, that little name drop he did uh, about Caesar's household is all about. Paul was preaching Jesus when it was illegal to do that, ended up getting arrested, continued to preach Jesus while in prison, and then through his proclamation of the word of God, sharing that good news, the Holy Spirit took root in the hearts of some of these, the, these Roman soldiers, and they were brought to saving faith in Christ Jesus. And what Paul is helping these people remember is, hey, the grace of Jesus is spreading. The faith in Jesus, the way, the, 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 the idea of Christianity, followers of Jesus are popping up everywhere. You are not alone. That's the first thing he leaves us with, is as Christians, as hard as it may be in this life, remember, you're not alone. People here love you. People here want to spend time with you. People here want to help you. People here want to bear your burdens. People here want to pray for you. Behind me, you can't really see it because it's blurry, but behind me, we've got our prayer wall where every single week our staff comes in here and we get to lift up different prayers, sometimes for each other, sometimes for members of our church, sometimes for people most of us don't even know. But we get the chance to, as a, a body of faith, lift up prayers to our most incredible God. And so that's the first thing. You're not alone as a follower of Jesus. And if you're feeling alone, reach out to us. All right, we'd love to walk with you. But the second thing is that that final line that Paul gives, and, and that is this, this blessing, this, this simple little blessing of uh, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, amen. And, and again, it's, it's pretty common. That's, that's a typical sign off, you know, may the grace of Jesus be with you. Um, we, we do it similar, you know, may the Lord bless you and keep you at the end of every single service. But what a beautiful way to cap off this letter in helping people to remember None of this is possible except by the grace of Jesus. Because what has Paul been talking about? Finding joy in all circumstances, living out that joy in all circumstances, remaining steadfast in the faith, remaining unified as the church. Paul is, is just laying out all of this stuff, but ultimately the only way it's possible is by the grace of Jesus that is at, that is at work within us. And so the final thing that I want to leave you with as we close out Philippians is that same blessing. May the grace of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the one who came into this world to take our place, to pay for our sins, to die the death we deserved, may the grace he earned for us on that cross continue to permeate your life, continue to, to fill you with, with hope, and give you his joy so that in all circumstances you may remember the fact that as hard as it may get here, our future eternity with him will be beyond our comprehension. 
the day of eternal paradise is coming. But until it comes, may the grace of Jesus carry you forward and enable you to find joy in all circumstances, to live that joy out, to remain steadfast in your faith, and to remain unified in the body of believers that has your back every step of the way. May God bless and keep you, reminding you of his grace, enabling you to experience it in real and meaningful ways. And may he continue to work through you to shower that grace on as many people as possible. Amen.